Oh god, my door's gone. Fuck no oh, right, beast tore it off, yeah. Hey all guys, my name is Wenceby and welcome back to Someday Your Return. Now in the last episode we bunkered down in here for the night and apparently survived. Probably just about considering the beast was just outside our door. The door's fucked. I really got lucky last night. I should put on my clothes before going outside. Ah, yeah, that's uh that's that's a shout actually now that I think about it. Right, we got more pages to read. Let's just quickly check out here first. My cell. It has more lives than me. What? Hey yo. Oh lovely. Thanks for holding that for me. Oh. Jesus no fucking happen. Christ. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. This, this still isn't explained at what the fuck keeps happening here. I'm baffled. Why, why does this keep happening? Right, lovely. All, oh, but now I'm stuck in a literal hole. Oh, no, I'm not. Right, well, new message is free. Daniel UK, right, I'll be there. Wait, what? There can be We need talk. Found her. Wait for grave for me graveyard. Daniel Lee UK, alright, I'll be The beast got my phone. Everyone is asleep and it's so peaceful. This year I got a tent to myself and I really love it. Wait. I just heard that same strange sneak squeaking sound from coming from the woods. What the hell is it? It's funny how it scared me when I was a kid and what the hell did we call it? Door guy? No, it was doorman. Anyway, it has to be some weird bird. I'm not going to track it down though. Something about it says to stay away. Bastard Molo, he and his asshole friends were mocking us in front of our the father. You have to be more careful. Alex said he knows of a great place to hide. We'll try to reach it tomorrow. We mustn't give them anything to use against us. Which is when they went there to do whatever they were doing with their clothes off, apparently. <laughs> it seems like somehow... Where the fuck am I now? I haven't a... Well, actually, I do. Oh, we're back on the other side again. So we need to go to the graveyard. Of which we are not going to. We're going to this chapel. Of which I spoke about in the last episode. Well would you look at that. Me pr predicting the future and stuff. I've never been in here. It was always locked. This isn't the one that. They were talking wow, about was it. Looks really old. Somehow it's out of place out here. In the middle of the woods. I wonder why they built something so vast. Can we break this Locked. open? No. I don't have any business in there. That's fine. Well, that means the beast must be around here as well then, right? Why did he leave my phone there? It's almost as if he wanted me to come here as well, right? Not particularly sure where we're going, but at the same time, I didn't really see Is anything you? in there. Nah, that's going to be a... It's going to somehow be someone else, isn't it? No, it is you. Don't you dare take another step. What are you doing there? You think you could play us all? Like your little toys? What the hell's gotten into you? You're in serious danger, Elle. Oh. Am I? Is it the same danger your daughter was in? Or are you what? just feeding me lies to make yourself look relevant? Eleonora, stop it. Somebody stole my cell and sent you a message. If I hadn't gotten here first, who knows what would have happened? Oh. But you certainly got here first. You might be disappointed. But I'm finding your scary costume childish and over the top. Oh, shit. And your little acting bit was a little too revealing. What? I'll never forgive myself for helping such a fucked up and disgusting monster. I should have known right away when you lied to me about Alexander. Now it's all too clear. Shut up. It, it was not me. That that thing you met was... Really? 
You shut up, Daniel. I've had enough of you for more than one lifetime. And the letter you gave me yesterday, the huh? one she wrote you, I did the worst thing possible. I read it. You what letter? have a letter from Stella? Oh. So now you want it back. Just take it. It's in my pocket. Don't! Oh shit. Where is she? She's just floating there. No, she is not. This is impossible. It's Hata's dress from our challenge. Who put it here? I have to search further for her. Underneath the water is different to the above water. Wait. Honestly, this game confuses me. I fully don't even understand what's going on. If I'm honest with you. Yeah, but this looks pretty at least. I'll wait until my clothes dry a bit. We also never found that car that went past us either. Oh, that's much better. It's not as dry as your conversation, Daniel, I must say that. <laughs> another one of these! And another one. The princess jumped down and suddenly realised that she was unable to walk forward, as if the path was blocked by an unseen force. A strange man dressed in a green... Pro dressed in a, in a green approached and told her... You will never leave this place unless you deal with your father. Oh my god, he forged the whole thing! Because he made an agreement with the father as well. Gee. Oh, look, another one. And there's footsteps. We're not going to talk about the, the feet and the... F no, I suppose we're not. Okay, now where are we? Chapter 8, the second camp. Oh! She asked us about this as well. Just as if it was definitely the only camp that there was. Another decrypted the page. Camp. I knew I'd end up here, no matter how much I tried not to. Back in hell, Mum went on vacation and refused to take me with her. I'm stuck with, here with him. Again. Prado would never have to do this after what happened four years ago. At least his camp is smaller, one thing for sure. I'm done playing one of these... Any of his shitty games. Is anything even remotely connected to that nightmare I run away and never look back? I still don't talk to him. I keep writing in my journal in case something happens to me. The rocks here are steep and he wanted... And if he wanted, he could push me, me down. Maybe he'd finally get rid of the worst thing in his life. The police will at least have some clues. I'll never forgive him. Ah! What's this? Like my marriage. No matter how hard I try, whatever I touch ends up like this. I'm not sure I even want to know what memories this place holds. Okay, brother. Calm down. Do you reckon I've got to do the same challenge again? Is there any high chairs? No. Look, look, look. We really need to wash our hands. Right. What do you want? Oh, it's going backwards. Oh wait, there's another one of these. Hey dickheads, those two sickening sweethearts are seriously ruining my zen. I bet we finally do something about it. Report back anything and everything they are doing. Their plans, their hideouts, you name it. And be smart about that. If they see you, forget that we were even friends. I want your reports tonight to figure out the best way we can punish them. Molo. Oh lovely. Even I fucking hate this kid and I ain't even met him. Right. It is this way. It's in here. Lovely. I know what you want. <laughs> not now and not here. Well, you did call me, so... Shh. Let's just wait a bit. I want to be sure that those assholes aren't following us. Looks like the coast is clear. Let's go. 
What are these lot doing? Why though? Lovely. You're limping. What's wrong with you? It's nothing. Really. Let's cross the archway. I've always wanted to see the other side. Does this no entry sign mean nothing to you? Your father oh, there was one. will kill us both. Now you see it? And then like magic. Come on. Wait. Then they went across here, I suppose. And I presume this is the end of this part. Wow. The sunset is so beautiful from up here. I told you. So, you really want to meet after we get back home? No. I want to forget I ever knew you. Stella, what the fuck? <laughs> That's what you get for repeating silly questions. Of course I want to see you as much as possible. I love you. They were in love and so happy. I remember that Stella was trying to reach me, even back then. Maybe I should have tried to understand her more. She wouldn't have needed to run away. And this all would never have happened. Aww. The fuck am I supposed to do with this? I need something. You need a fucking brain, and so do I, mate. What's that? Unlabeled. Oh, right. Don't know how I managed to do that. Petroleum. I'm going to try and go to all these landmarks and see if there's anything at any of them. So there's a tent and there's like the canteen tent next door to it. Which would be these ones up here. Oh. Does this stop them? No, it doesn't. There's a bit of light of fire under their ass. Ah, does that? Cat of oh fuckers. Okay, so this is genuinely what I'm trying to do. There's an another one. Hey, bro, want to hear the? Wait here, who's the best? I caught our little doves at the campfire, cuddling and painting each other's faces with ash like idiots. Then they were whispering, but you know me, I just hid, just hid behind and was able to hear them. And guess what? Tomorrow they plan to go to that old water plant for a date. It's far enough from here and I think this will make a beautiful chance to have some fun. Where's my reward be? So I'm learning about how much of an asshole these batch were. Lovely stuff. Hmm. It doesn't fit. Yeah. So I need... I need something. Yeah, no shit, dickhead. So I need another two from somewhere. Wait, I can go all the way down here. Did I go down here? I didn't, but there's... There we go. Oh, here we go. What's up, bro? I don't have much for you. S was alone because A was doing camp chores all day, but this afternoon they vanished from the camp and I caught them by the outlook in the birch grove, just hand-holding. Nothing fancy. Then A pulled a flask out of his pocket and they both took a shot. I wonder where A got the booze later, K. Okay. Ah, here we go. This will be the last area, surely. And then I can just plunk this down here. I'm gonna full charge it because I'm gonna presume that's probably. Oh, wait. Can I. It'll drop the distance, won't it? That. So it's dependent on distance. Ah. 
Bam. I've only got one more. Woof. That was close. Right, so this one was this no, it's here. And then that one's this there. Looks right to me. And then there's a heart for some reason. Because you know, these hearts seem to be absolutely everywhere. Then bam. Uh oh. What is that? What actually was that? I don't, I don't understand the heart thing, because it doesn't kill the screaming things, it just kind of kills the traps. Do we have to go down there now? Huh? What? So this is what the noise was about. Yeah, I, 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 oh, there's another page here. Hey Molo, this morning I was keeping watch and saw them sneaking out of the camp. I followed them down the rope bridge. I was standing on the bridge and it was disgusting, so I rather returned to my tent. Maybe we can fix a rope or two so the next time they can fall in love even deeper. P.S. Don't worry, they were so into it that there was no way they could see me. I feel like that's a bit of bullshit. So that's around this side, right? Or not? I mean, that works too, I suppose. Unless there's somehow something that's down here that, like, picks up. Nope. What exactly should I be getting up there? Oh. There's a... I'm trying to think too complex on it. Oh, lovely. And that's chapter 9. Bam! Two chap well, yeah, two chapters. What? Mate, why do some of these chapters like take two seconds and then the others just take a whole hour? I don't understand it, but with that being said, I'm gonna end this here because we are now in a new a new a new episode, a new area. So that means we can go ahead and start off in a new area. I've already seen something there that I'm probably gonna have to stick my a little thing into the floor, so we got some more of those puzzles, yay, because that's not going to confuse my brain once again. So, if you enjoyed, go down below, hit that subscribe button, the bell to be notified when I post. Any games you'd like to see me play in the future, drop those down in the comments. I'll get around to them eventually. And with that all being said, just a use in the next episode. See ya.